Hello, you're watching the Auto Advisor channel. Have you ever wondered what are the symptoms and signs of a faulty knock sensor? Today, we're going to delve into that topic, and by the end of our chat, you'll be in the know. Let's start by understanding what a knock sensor is. Picture it as a kind of microphone that attaches to the engine cylinder block. Its job is to pick up the sounds of explosions happening inside the combustion chambers. Now, if the frequency of these sounds exceeds a certain limit, the knock sensor springs into action. It sends a signal to the engine control unit, or ECU, alerting it of the high detonation level. The ECU, in response, adjusts the ignition angle to eliminate the high detonation in the engine. Pretty smart, right? But what if the knock sensor is defective? Well, in that case, the control unit doesn't get the alert, and no measures are taken to extinguish the detonation. You might wonder, so what? Well, ignoring a faulty knock sensor can lead to a string of unfortunate events. Talking about rapid failure or breakdown of the cylinder head gasket, accelerated wear of engine elements, cracking of the cylinder head, and even complete burnout of one or more pistons. Not to mention the failure of jumpers between the rings, bending of the connecting rod, and burning of valve plates. In short, a defective knock sensor can wreak havoc on your engine's health. It's like having an illness with no symptoms. By the time you realize something's wrong, it might be too late. So it's crucial to pay attention to the health of your knock sensor. Now that we understand the importance of a knock sensor, let's dive into the signs that it could be faulty. In our next segment, we'll explore the symptoms of a faulty knock sensor, so you'll know what to look out for. Stay tuned. So, how do you know if your knock sensor might be faulty? There are several symptoms to look out for. Firstly, you might notice your engine shaking. If your knock sensor and the control system in your engine are in good working order, this phenomenon should not occur. The sensor is designed to pick up the frequencies of explosions in the combustion chambers. When functioning correctly, it sends a signal to the engine control unit, which adjusts the ignition angle to prevent detonation and keep things running smoothly. Second symptom is a reduction of power or what you might perceive as your engine being dull. This is often manifested by a deterioration of acceleration or an excessive increase of revolutions at low speeds. The knock sensor plays a crucial role in regulating the power your engine generates. So when it's not working properly, you might notice a decrease in your vehicle's overall performance. Thirdly, you might experience difficulty starting the engine, especially when it's cold. The knock sensor helps to regulate the ignition process, so a faulty sensor could interfere with your engine's ability to start up smoothly. The fourth symptom to look out for is increased fuel consumption. Since the knock sensor helps to regulate the ignition angle, a faulty sensor can disrupt the fuel-air mixture causing it to deviate from optimum parameters. This could lead to your vehicle consuming more fuel than necessary. You may also notice the check engine light illuminating on your dashboard. This is a clear indication of potential engine issues, including a faulty knock sensor. Keep in mind though that this light could also indicate other engine problems, not just issues with the knock sensor. If your, your knock sensor is not replaced in time, there could be severe consequences. These include rapid failure or breakdown of the cylinder head gasket, accelerated wear of elements of the cylinder piston group of the engine, the appearance of cracking in the cylinder head, partial or complete burnout of one or more pistons, failure of jumpers between the rings, bending of the connecting rod, and burning of valve plates. These symptoms could also indicate other engine issues. To accurately identify a knock sensor malfunction, it's advisable to use electronic scanners. These devices can help you pinpoint the exact source of the problem, whether it's a break in the wires, oxidized contacts, or an issue with the high voltage wires. In the next scene, we'll delve deeper into how to identify knock sensor errors and what steps you can take to address them. Stay tuned for that, but for now, keep these symptoms in mind. If you notice any of them, it's a good idea to get your vehicle checked out by a professional as soon as possible. As we mentioned, electronic scanners can help identify knock sensor malfunctions more accurately. These devices read error codes that your car's computer generates when it detects an issue. Let's dive into the three main errors that could indicate a knock sensor issue. First up, we have error 
P0325, open circuit in the knock sensor circuit. This error signifies a problem in the wiring, which could range from a simple wire break to oxidized contacts. Oxidization often occurs due to the exposure of these wires to heat and moisture over time. So if you see this error, it's time to check the condition of your wiring. We have error P0328, high knock sensor signal level. This error often points to an issue with high voltage wires. These wires carry the electrical current from the ignition system to the spark plugs. If these wires are damaged or worn out, they can cause this error. So when you encounter this error, it's a good idea to have a look at your high voltage wires. Lastly, we have errors P0327, knock sensor 1 circuit low input, and P0326, knock sensor 1 circuit range performance, which are usually stored in the ECU memory due to a low signal from the knock sensor. This could be due to a range of issues, from a faulty sensor itself to a problem with the sensor's ground connection. So if you're seeing this error, it's worth checking out both the sensor and its connections. Please note, another error P0326 can be recorded on the vehicle when the signal value from the knock sensor is higher or lower than the permissible values in which it should operate. Remember, these error codes are not exclusive to a faulty knock sensor and could indicate other issues as well. However, they provide a good starting point for diagnosing the problem. Always ensure that you're ruling out other potential issues before zeroing in on the knock sensor. These errors could help you pinpoint whether your knock sensor is faulty. Having covered the error codes that could indicate a knock sensor issue, let's talk about some DIY checks. Yes, you heard right. There are some preliminary checks you can do at home, even before you head to a mechanic. First, you can check the knock sensor without removing it from the cylinder block. To do this, set your engine's idle speed to approximately 2,000 revolutions per minute. Then, using a small hammer or a wrench, lightly tap the body of the cylinder block near the sensor. If the engine speed drops after that, it indicates that the sensor is working fine. If the revolutions remain at the same level, you may need to perform an additional check. For this additional check, you'll need an electronic multimeter to measure the electrical resistance. Ideally, you should check it with an oscilloscope, but a multimeter will suffice for a simple home check. You're looking for resistance readings that the sensor emits when tapped. The range of resistance variation should be from 400 to 1000 ohms. Also, don't forget to perform an elementary check of the sensor's wiring. Look for any signs of breakage, insulation damage, or short circuit. Again, your multimeter will be useful. Remember, a malfunctioning knock sensor can significantly reduce the life of your engine. So it's important to ensure that it's working properly. After all, prevention is better than cure. In the next segment, we'll discuss the next steps after identifying a potential issue with your knock sensor. Once you've identified a potential issue with your knock sensor, your next step should be to consult with a professional. So, you've recognized the symptoms, read the signs, and even used an electronic scanner to get some error codes. But, what's next? Well, the answer is simple. It's time to see a mechanic. A mechanic, you ask? Well, because when it comes to the ins and outs of your engine, there's no one better equipped to deal with the issue. A mechanic has the tools, the knowledge, and the experience to not only confirm your suspicions about a faulty knock sensor, but also to replace it safely and efficiently. Remember, a faulty knock sensor isn't something you can afford to ignore. This little device plays a crucial role in your engine's performance. It's the guardian of your combustion chambers, ensuring that the explosions within them are kept within safe limits. If it's not working properly, the results can be catastrophic. You see, when a knock sensor fails, it can lead to a whole slew of problems. We're talking about rapid failure of the cylinder head gasket, accelerated wear of elements of the cylinder piston group of the engine, the appearance of cracking in the cylinder head, burnout of one or more pistons, failure of jumpers between the rings, bending of the connecting rod and burning of valve plates. That's a laundry list of issues you definitely don't want to deal with. But all of these can be avoided if you act promptly and consult a mechanic at the first sign of trouble. A mechanic will be able to confirm whether your knock sensor is truly at fault. Sometimes the symptoms you're experiencing could be due to other issues within your engine, and a mechanic can help identify these. 
If it turns out your suspicions were correct and your knock sensor is indeed faulty, the mechanic will then proceed to replace it. This is a delicate process that involves detaching the faulty sensor from the cylinder block and attaching a new one in its place. It's not something you'd want to attempt on your own unless you're confident in your mechanical skills. Once the new sensor is in place, the mechanic will also be able to reset any error codes and ensure that your engine is running smoothly once again. So there you have it. The importance of consulting a mechanic when you suspect a faulty knock sensor cannot be overstated. It's the best and safest way to confirm the issue and get it resolved. Remember, a faulty knock sensor can lead to serious engine issues. Don't ignore the signs. Thanks for watching the Auto Advisor channel. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful videos like this one.